Transformers of Eternia. You're watching Transformers of Eternia. And today I wanted to talk about Hasbro and Mattel and this cross licensing agreement that they're working out so that they can maybe have something shared between the two companies. I don't know. But of course, I want to speculate that it might be a Transformers Masters of the Universe crossover. I'm just going to speculate because a lot of the news wants to speculate on Hot Wheels, Barbie, uh, Mr. Potato Head. I mean, all these things. The thing I want to get right to the point on is, can you imagine? Uh, I'm just going to speculate here. So, can you imagine if this means that they're going to do Masters of the Universe vehicles that transform? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I'm just thinking maybe they'll actually have like a, a battle ram that can transform into a robot i I'm not, i wouldn't i wouldn't have them i wouldn't expect them to do like full size battle ram that goes with like your origins figures i wouldn't expect that but i imagine that they're going to do that they would do something similar to that if they're going to do these i think that would be worth it the only problem i think that they're going to have or I think this crossover could do, if they do do a Master of the Universe Transformers crossover, is I have a feeling that they'll make like a transforming vehicle that turns into Skeletor. This to me is always the downfall of these crossovers. When they did Transformers Star Wars figures, they always did the um, vehicle and then they turned it into a character from Star Wars. That, to me, is a horrible idea. Why not make new characters and have them be the names of the new vehicles that are well-known? Um, so, like on Masters of the Universe side, I would say do not call any of these vehicles when they transform a character from the Masters of the Universe or Transformers. I don't want it to be like um, G.I. Joe and Transformers. You know? I want it to be where it's like a whole new set of Transformers. That way they don't have to look like Optimus Prime. That way they don't have to look like He-Man or Skeletor. They can look like whatever is required to make the character look cool and turn into the vehicle that everyone recognizes from Masters of the Universe. And I always use the Battle Ram because that's the one I think would be so cool as a Transformer. If I was put in charge of the Hasbro Masters of the Universe crossover, what I would do is a Battle Ram that transforms into a robot, right? And the Sky Sled, which is the front of the vehicle, would come off and detach and be able to turn into a smaller transformer and the back half with the with the giant cannon thing on it and everything and the big wheels that piece would turn into a transformer all to itself as well and then they would be able to combine in vehicle form obviously because that's what the battle ram is and then also in robot form they would be able to combine and have the sky sled would become like the chest piece on the front of the robot form for this battle ram that transforms into a robot. That would be cool. And also the little animal face or whatever that's on the front of the sky sled, I would have that actually like come off and maybe that could be the head for the robot form. I don't know. It's, it's a thought. It's a theory. It's an idea. Or maybe have the head that's on the big robot form be similar to that, only more human, more humanized or whatever, more robotic or mech, mech looking, I guess. But that's that's my idea for what I would do if we did a sky sled and the um, you know the battle ram as a transformer. Now, of course, we have other vehicles that we could throw in there. I mean, we could have like the road ripper. We could have all kinds of them. So we could have like a Wind Raider that transforms into a robot. Uh, we could have Attack Track that transforms into a robot. Um, I mean, we could have Dragon Walker even. I don't know how you'd do that one. That one might be a little creative to do, but you could probably do it. I don't know. Um, the Talent Fighter. I mean, Land Shark, the Rotan, uh, Spidor the Bashasaurus even. I mean, there's, I mean, I could go on and on and on. 
my point is some of these would be great transformer like if they could transform into robot mech forms that would be cool i mean if they really wanted to do something interesting they could have these transform into robots and have them open up so you could put Master of the Universe Origins figures inside, like a mech suit. That would be cool too. I doubt they would do that because that would require these things to have be a lot of plastic. They'd have to be pretty big. Um, chances are they'd have to actually be the size of the actual Master of the Universe Origins vehicle to fit the Origins figure to be that big i don't know i i'm just coming up with ideas uh i don't see why hasbro and mattel couldn't come up with this themselves this would be a great crossover line if they did this a lot of fans would love this i think this would not be um unpopular this would be something very popular i think um but yeah if they could do a crossover of masters of the universe and transformers uh that I mean, like my channel name says, uh, Transformers of Eternia, that pretty much sums up how I feel about it. Because if you could have Transformers on Eternia that are not Optimus Prime and Megatron, I mean, new characters that transform into Master of the Universe vehicles, that would be like my dream. <laughs> that would be so cool. And I, I would say like for different, they, they could do different scales, but I mean... If they're going to match the size of like the Origins figures, I just go by Origins because that's the smallest form of Master Universe we have right now. And I don't think you could do Masterverse because those vehicles would be so huge and expensive. No one could be able to get it really easily. So I would just say go with the crossover for the Master Universe Origins figures. Like the Wind Raider for me would be like the second one to come out. Because that one just seems like it's more popular and it would look cool as a vehicle and a transformer, I think. Because I could see like those round, like, I don't know, engines on the side that, that are next to the wings, that the wings come out of actually. Those things could be like a backpack type of thing for like a jet pack on the figure. Um, and then you could have like the, like the... Like some of these heads on these vehicles, like like some of these uh, sculpted animal type of heads or whatever, like whatever monster heads that are on some of these vehicles would be cool as like to turn into the chest or turn into like some form of like maybe the head on the robot. I don't know. I think they should be like mechanical looking heads though. So like transformer looking, but not specifically Optimus Prime or Megatron, like I said. Like the Land Shark, that one has a huge mouth, and basically the head is the vehicle. So that one there, you couldn't really do like the head turning into the chest as easily, I don't think. And I wouldn't want the head to kind of lay flat down, like facing downward on the chest. I would want the, the chest to be kind of stick out a little bit and have that be kind of look similar to the shark face on the vehicle. That would be cool. Um, and like the, the, like Spider, that, that vehicle, that's just a giant mechanical spider. So that would be kind of harder because it's got all those legs and it doesn't have a real big body on that vehicle. Uh, but the Roton, that one would be something that to think about. I don't know how they would have the spinning Roton like spike thing. I don't know how they would break that up and have it transform and have it spin in vehicle form really that would be something that i don't know a designer would have to really work on that one i don't know how they would do that but that would be cool and maybe the face could be kind of like part of the chest on that one the dragon walker like i said before that one would be kind of hard i could picture the dragon type of green face with the red highlights and all that i figure that would be kind of part of the like right on the chest of the v of the robot form but that thing looks kind of like gray skull walking almost so it doesn't it seems like it it feels less like it fits in with robotic stuff to me but i mean the talon fighter that the obviously the bird uh eagle whatever that is the talon or whatever head can go at can basically fold down and turn into the chest and then the rest of it can kind of clip like like turn into panels and kind of fold up to form the body, I guess. 
and a lot of these transformers would have the ones that can fly i think the wings should go on the back kind of like a star scream type of thing but no i don't want them to turn into star scream or anything like that but yeah the i'm just coming up with ideas on the fly the bashosaurus that one's almost like the dragon walker to me it almost feels like it's not really mechanized enough it feels a little bit more um like a castle grace call type of thing to me i don't know i just got a weird vision of how i want it but that would be kind of cool to have like an arm that has like a giant the Bash basosaurus like thing on the arm that would be kind of a cool little thing for one of the arms um i don't know what to say for that one but like I just go back to the battle ram. For me, the battle ram is the key here. Because the battle ram is where what made me, when I was first thinking of the idea of Transformers that are Master Universe vehicles, the battle ram was the first thing that came to mind. Because those big wheels, I could see those big wheels being like on the, on like the back of this thing, like these giant wheels, like in the shoulders or whatever. Or, um, I don't know, maybe even in the, the forearm i don't know and then have these giant like hands or like three fingers or whatever or four fingers whatever giant fingers like coming out kind of like a bulk head type of thing and have it be kind of i don't know not have super long legs but bigger arms maybe i don't know i'm just coming up with ideas but yeah talking about all this is just something i like to do i just it's something that interests me maybe it interests you maybe this is boring i don't know <laughs> Mattel and Hasbro having a crossover that would be cool I don't know what Mattel could offer for Hasbro really other than them kind of flip-flopping back and forth I mean Hot Wheels really that's okay we already have um cars that are like Hot Wheels I think I don't know if they're Hot Wheels or not because I don't pay attention to Hot Wheels so much but we have those as transformer vehicles already I don't know I don't know what they would what there would be a a good change i don't know mattel um I'm trying to think of what mattel has that could offer to hasbro that they would really be able to utilize in a good way maybe you know and you could tell me in the comments but and maybe i'm, I'm just overthinking this maybe it's just going to be a nothing type of thing and it's just some little thing but it would up the um the value i think of both of these companies if they were working together and I know in the past, Mattel tried to, I think there was some kind of a deal where they're trying to sell the company. And Hasbro, I don't, I'm trying to, I'm, I might be getting this wrong. So please correct me in the comment section if you know the answer, because I don't know everything. But um, I believe they were trying to sell this and then Hasbro might have been the one that would have buy it. But they didn't, the, they didn't work it out. It didn't work out for them and. They didn't really agree on that, so I don't know. I know Transformers likes to do a crossover. In the past, they've been doing crossovers with other weird things, so maybe this is one of those things. But I tend, I hope it's not just one thing, like they did the Top Gun jet or whatever that transforms. Um, I'm hoping they're not just going to do um, the Wind Raider or something as a Transformer, and then they're done. That's their one crossover. You know, that would suck. Especially as a massive universe fan, there's just so many vehicles and if you just choose one that I'm not really I think there's so many vehicles that would make interesting transformers It just would be boring to me to see them just do one, you know So I don't know I'm just gonna put this out there and you could tell me what you think in the comic section below, but It's just something I like to think about. I've always thought of this anyway, so it's just something when this news came out, I was like, oh yeah, that would be so cool. I mean, it probably won't work out the way I'm thinking, but it'll be awesome to think about. So tell me what you think in the comment section below and like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.